All right, so here's a more pragmatic question. And this this is probably more along the lines of, um, it's more pragmatic. So since this event in 2019, where you kind of, you had the spiritual awakening, you've done this work, how have your relationships changed with your family and friends? And have you met new people or rediscovered people in a way that you would have never guessed? hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, I know. So towards the end of 2019, um, when I was really kind of deep into it, it was really hard. Um, because I, you know, like everything changes. I, you yourself change so much mm -hmm. and I had to reevaluate, I think essentially every relationship friendship that I had because I had changed so much from who I was. And so I kind of had to redefine everything. And funny story, actually, it was, I was in Salt Lake, um, 2019 Christmas. And I remember mm -hmm. <laughs> my mom, I'm sitting on the couch one morning with my mom. And I remember I had, I had a hard time because, you know, my mom is very like high anxiety and stuff. So kind of going through all that, I kind of pulled back a little bit because I, I really just, I couldn't deal with that. And we're sitting there and she starts crying. She's like, are you in a cult? And I was like, I was really kind of mad that she would think that I would go that route. But like, I mean, that's pretty stark. I mean, that's, I understood it too. I mean, it's about on par with what my mom goes, you know, she's, she always think it's like worst case scenario. Um, <laughs> I mean, and, and I kind of understood it because, you know, I had kind of pulled back. I really, I, I was changing so much mm. um, as a person in, in a good way, but I, for my family, that was, a, you know, a huge change. Mm. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, then I kind of had explained to her, you know, kind of what I had been going through and stuff. Um, but yeah, it changes a lot. And in, and end of 2019, I actually ended up quitting drinking as well which also was another layer of yeah, like big. redefining relationships because a lot of my friends what did we do you know we hung out we we drank and that's how we socialized yep. um so but it's interesting because I think the people that kind of weren't aligned with that they kind of slowly fell away um and not in a bad way you know sometimes people kind of just come and go um but I think like my core group of friends, all of a sudden, everyone and as as I was more vocal about kind of what what I was experiencing, all of a sudden, like close friends of mine were kind of talking about the same thing, and we're kind of getting on that wavelength. Or like the people I was meeting, like Henock was one of those. Um, he, I think, end of twenty nineteen, he started as a traveler at my hospital. And he kind of overheard me talking to one of our other coworkers and he was like, wait, what? So it's, it's interesting as you kind of go on this journey, you definitely, the people that start coming into your life, like you realize you're not really alone, you know, on that path, you no. know? Um, and even just in casual conversation when I'm at work and stuff, you know, I've definitely just become more vocal and, and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, like, and you can tell like people are afraid, like they're almost relieved to hear someone talk about it mm -hmm. um, because I think people are just afraid to kind of tap into that. And um, it's interesting because people don't seem to be afraid anymore. I think that this, this was something different once upon a time, but they wouldn't talk about politics. They wouldn't talk about religion. Um, and now they, whatever they hate, they want to talk about. But we're not talking about the things that light us up, that bring us joy, or not as much. And I feel like the fact that you see that you're not alone is only because you were willing, brave enough to, to talk about it. And instead of sharing what you're frustrated with or what you hate about what's going on in the world, you're like, I'm exploring this amazing thing, yeah. or however you say it. Yeah. And all of a sudden people are like, yeah, me too. 
and it's uh it sounds like it's giving you the ability to connect uh and rediscover in a way that you couldn't otherwise and yeah i mean that's if that's not a great reason to share you know what's going on personally and not I i feel like anytime you're you're talking about something you're angry about you're not actually talking about what's going on you're talking about what triggered the you know it's the surface trigger that brings up whatever's underneath it but you're not talking about what's underneath yourself that's being reactive to whatever has been said or what is yeah what's happened yeah and then so so all right just to clarify uh, so your experience in life now also then would be probably less triggers Absolutely. And, um, I mean, there's definitely still triggers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Want, that's going to be right. We're human. It's, yeah. it's going to happen. And, and I think that's the other thing I had to learn too, is, you know, you get to a point where you're like, you know, you're feeling really good. And then you have a bad day and you're like, no, you feel like you've taken like a hundred steps back, which is not the case, right? Yeah, you're no. never going to get to a point where you're just even keel all the time. Um, but well, what? if you do, I feel like at that point in time, you're now called a, a leader uh, of whatever movement. <laughs> right. Um, and whether you like it or not, you're the leader or you're a leader yeah. in that movement. <laughs> right. I do hope in, in our lifetime, we see, because I think more and more people are having an awakening to the fact that they can have control in their life, that they can yeah. be spiritual, that they can, you know, have a faith that's not typical um, or asymmetric, whatever, whatever word works. Um, I do hope there comes a day like previous generations have certain icons. And I would love the future generations to have thousands of icons you know what i mean like how amazing would it be that if just thousands of people said hey or hundreds of thousands of people said hey let's treat each other better like i'm not i'm not participating in this and you need me to participate for this and so until you know, until everyone's on board with like the conversation starting from, you know, and this is, this is kind of my personal thing. One earth, same air, same water, doesn't matter where you are on the planet. We're that many people that were affecting everyone everywhere all the time. No way around it. We're in a closed system and it's called earth. (laughs) So get on the program uh and and all the conversations have to start from there like obviously there's a million different ways to have that that starting play and or talk about that starting place but that's kind of mine like how amazing would it be if like hundreds of thousands or millions of people said yeah that's 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 me that's where i'm starting from i mean it would change everything i think yeah oh absolutely i and you know i truly i know people will have a hard time believing this right now i truly believe we're getting there i know we're kind of <laughs> I think so too. I mean, it's kind of a hot mess right now. But you know, even that, I I kind of feel like these last couple of years, I think it's kind of collectively been like this death and rebirth. You know, and it gets yeah. ugly, and it gets, you know, all these emotions that you've been sitting on that we've all been sitting on, they get pushed to the surface and have nowhere else to go because mm-hmm. you're actually starting to have to look at this stuff. Um, so I think we're just kind of in the thick of it collectively. Um, but I think on the other side of this, I genuinely believe, you know, we're going to come out of this better. And, um, you know, I think people are starting to reevaluate a lot of aspects of their lives and stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you experienced when you went through your moment in August, 2019, you, that was then followed up by some difficult work and to this day like ridiculous amounts of writing and work 
So if you think about it from that standpoint, if, you know, we are struggling culturally, you know, with awakening um, and kind of getting to the next plateau, then, you know, this is us trying to do the work. And, you know, we've got lots and lots and lots of noise, you know, yelling at us to go here, go there, go, you know, whatever. And I'm hoping that the mainstream noise gets drowned out by the, you know, the, the rest of us that are, that are trying to um, maybe not so quietly, you know, talk about, you know, I'm an individual and I want this for my family and my community and for us to be a community together, we can't, we, we, we can't continue to look at the differences. We have to look at the, the similarities. Yeah. And I feel like there's more and more people having those conversations and wanting to find those conversations. Yeah. And that's the beginning of the end of the old paradigm. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's happening. I I do think it's happening. And well, so it was interesting. So one of the physicians that I have been following kind of throughout this um, to kind of keep up on all the information, one day I got a notification that he had posted a new video and it said awakening. I'm like, wait, what? Like, is the doctor? A doctor. Yeah. Nice. Um, I don't know if you see my stories, I post some of his clips sometimes. I'm sure I've seen some of them then. Yeah. Um, So, so I clicked on it like out of curiosity. I'm like, is he talking about like, like more like spiritual awakening? And sure enough, he was, and he had, um, I didn't end up listening to all of it. I think he had like, did an eight part like series with this anesthesiologist that has written this book about awakening, but he kind of takes away kind of, cause you know, you can get really like woo woo into it and all that. It's easy to go woo woo. Yeah. And that's really off putting to like, a lot of people, yeah. you know. Um, so he kind of strips it back. Want more? Check out this clip or the full episode on our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and it's the easiest way to support this channel. Also, check out our affiliate links. You might find a lot of value from them. Thanks for listening. See you next time.